Greetings, I the War Owl greets you, and it's time for game number three, the conclusion of this epic battle between Cloud9 and the ninjas in pajamas, and it all comes down to cobblestone. Yes, it does. All right, game number one did in fact go to Cloud9 on Nuke. Game number two went to ninjas in pajamas on Dust2. It all comes down to game number three. And we see CTs with a very B-heavy split here. Terrorists looking like they are going to be taking B. They have the bomb set over to take A. By the way, this is pre-patch um, that added the new hallway for the connector. So pretty much just going to be rush strategies going on here. Either A or B. Cobblestone's a pretty new map in terms of balance. It doesn't seem to be there in terms of balance just yet. All right. Terrorists charging forward. Counter Terrace all staying inside of that rotate position to be. However, it looks like Terrace will be taking. Wow, jumping. Um, burst fire Glock shot there. So the Flaren holds off Sempus. Not gonna happen. Just Forrest left. One versus two. Hiko had four points. Wow. And Shroud will take him down. Let's get an Al Vision on Hiko's pistol round. Okay, wow, right off the bat there, Cloud9 takes the pistol round, putting themselves into an anti-eco against ninjas in pajamas. Now, since not a lot is really known about this map, we should expect to see ninjas in pajamas not really do an armor pistol. And they are not. They are going to be purchasing the CZ. This is pre-CZ nerf. It's still 300 in this. All right, Terrace flashing in. Keep in mind, these are the games that constituted the changes that have been made to this map as well as the weapon system. I like this by Cloud9, keeping all of their players inside of this rotate position between A and B, because T's kind of have to commit to one bomb site or the other, so they're just sort of playing the retakes. However, that that bomb plant there um, will give Ninjas in Pajamas a third round buy, so that's actually really good for Ninjas in Pajamas. This round was a success for them, even though they only took down one player. So, this round, Ninjas in Pajamas should be able to buy full AKs with armor. Will not be able to purchase an AWP, though. This is a map where AWPing seems like it would be useful, but it may not be that useful. Sort of difficult to explain. It's going to be very useful on CT side, because there's a lot of long-range positions to hold off. It's a very wide, open map. Wow, okay. The ninjas in pajamas have enough money for a third round buy, but they are not. Gare's using the AUG. This is a little bit strange of a buy as well. It's 300 more than the M4. It's still a two-hit headshot. The only thing it has is the scope. Okay, so he's going to be playing back here with it and using the scope. Call of Duty style. As the terrorists try to charge into the bomb site. There's nothing. Getting shot in the back of the head. This could be an eco steal here. Get right able to grab this Famas, and it's all up to Garrus in the back of the site um, with the AUG already taking down two players. There's the Flaren pushing forward. Bomb will get planted once again. Ninjas in pajamas getting the eco. Oh wow, Garrus actually did not have armor on that round as well. Weird buy. Hiko hunting down Get Right, who's right around that corner. Hiko first Get Right once again, and that time it will go to Get Right. Did not watch that corner. Puts it into a one versus one. Semphis versus Freiburg. Freiburg grabbing that AUG off the ground. Will be playing this position with the scope. If he jumps down, that'll spell disaster. And Freiburg will take it. So apparently that is the strength of that position. The player can uh, jump down into the scoped weapon. That's why I was playing with the AUG back there. Ninjas in pajamas just stole that on an eco and got the bomb plant, propelling themselves economically into this game. Cloud9 doesn't have enough money to buy, but they will. Gares with no armor and a Mag-7. Two Famas is on the field. Weapon advantage, eco advantage, all goes to the ninjas in pajamas. And little is known about the sidedness of this map, though. So it's still anyone's game. T is going to be rotating. As you notice, the, uh, the map overview here is using the new version, whereas 
this is actually the way that they rotate through here. So you're going to have to ignore the minimap on this. All right. Terrorists have taken position at middle. Looking like they want to try an A take here. Eco plane from up in the tower. And this is before it was uh, closed off a bit. Forrest grabs a frag with that op. Long A is now open. Semphis has been picked. Get right going solo at the uh, suicide drop down point. Terra's creeping forward here at long A. Nobody really in a position to watch it. Garrus rotates back with this Mag-7 and sets up inside of the site. Let's see if this is going to work. No armor. Mag-7 has to get the one hit kill on these guys as he moves into plant. Nothing rotates to help as well. Watching this corner. Going to pre-flash them it seems. In the meantime, Shroud and Get Right incredibly close to each other here. And did not see Get Right. Will he be hopping down? Shroud could get the drop on him here. And he will. Shroud with a frag. Terrace now pushing into the site. Time for Gares. Oh, but he doesn't get the kill. Nothing moves in to prevent the bomb plant. He will delay it. But at the cost of his life, Shroud moves in. Now a one versus two. Shroud up. Two frags. Needs two more to close out the round. Freiburg inside of the site. He knows there's an opera creeping around somewhere. Forrest with two frags with that op. And... He is at long A right now. Shroud peeking in here. This is scary. Forrest could see him at any moment. And there it is. Forrest with the final frag. Putting it all tied up 2-2 in favor of nobody. Because it's even. Okay, actually in favor of the ninjas in pajamas. Because that's going to have to be a save round here from Cloud9. Buying up those CZs. CZOP. An eco CZ buy um, has a very high win percentage, costing only 300 here. Very high for an eco. And we just saw an eco win by the ninjas in pajamas on this map, so let's see what happens this time. Shroud with a P250 hold off. Oh, he taps exist, takes him down low. Trading positions here, playing it with nothing. Oh, there's the boost. Shroud getting up top. The flanner's not going to expect this. Yeah, and Shroud picks him off. I love that. The boost worked. Exist looking like he wants to peek. Nothing moves back to the drop down spot. Terrace will commence with this bomb site take. But Freiburg is there, and Freiburg is a deadly shot. Nothing charging forward with the P250 through that smoke. The two players watching B are now dead. Shigaris is like, hey guys, late to the party. Three players left. Exist is very low, though, so they could still pick him off. There he is. Oh, perfect shot by Semphis taking out Forrest. One tap, CZ, long range, headshot, boom. Dead. Okay, this is possible win from Cloud9. He's right behind you, Semphis. Garrus now knows, should be able to peek this position. Take him down, two versus two on the bomb site take. Get right up in the back. Now, still a two versus two. Freiburg down to 22 health. Eco shows himself, Get right takes him. Get right looking right at Garrus. Freiburg here as well. If Garrus drops down, he's... He's going to be able to kill him. Garrus has grabbed this off. Looking like he's going to exit the site now. And he will be saving this off for the next round. Now it's time to exit the site. Not even going for those um, exit frags. Wants to make sure he saves this thing. And all in all, a good eco round from Cloud9. They killed three players and they saved an AWP. That's good. This is very much an economy game. That's going to keep them back into that aspect of the game. Not too far behind. Very good eco round. That off is going to be strong. Garrus is going to hold on to it. And let's see where he plays from. He's positioned to go long A. You can get a quick pick here if he pushes out. Let's see if he does it based on the timings here. And Hiko going to continue to play up the ladder here at middle. Now because of this, it's going to be a difficult rotate to go over to B side. Oh, he's in position. He could get this. There are two terrorists creeping around middle right now. There's one. That's going to be Fuflerin. Let's see if they peek him. This could be huge. He's got that little gap in between the rocks. In between the stones there where you can see them, the cobblestones. As they push out, which will give him advanced warning. Oh, but Freiburg jumps out. In the meantime, Gidright's already been picked. And Hiko on the ground here holds off Exist. Nice job before going down himself. All right. Terrorist going to be continuing this aggression on bomb site A. CT's rotating all their players over here to deal with it. Nobody's staying at B. And that seems to be Cloud9's strategy. It's 
Okay, because the map is go this way or go that way, we're gonna stay in the middle, and whichever way they go, we're gonna full rotate. Okay, they've rotated one player back just in case, because they do not have the intel at this point that they're committing to this. Well, there's the smoke, so now they have the intel. May try to rotate that player back. Nothing also hears it. There's Freiburg there. Ooh, shows himself, and Freiburg is able to get that kill. Nice shot. Freiburg is an incredible player. All right, and here's Gares. Trying to hold off your flare in here with the song. And he misses the shot. Flaren is able to push forward. Has that bomb up. And there it is. Gares holds off the aggression. 3-3. All tied up here in this quarterfinal decider match. As you can see here. Fancy stuff, Valve. Nice work. Okay, Gares grabs himself this auto sniper. Probably going to hold down some a, a corner with it. Probably at B. Yeah, he's positioned to run over that way. Switching positions with Semphis, who will be opping over here at Long A. Terrorists buying up and looking like they're going to be doing a very fast aggression here at bombsite A. All five of them running through here. Here's Shroud watching the drop down suicide spot. Nothing inside of the site as the terrorists are pushing forward. All of them right around that corner. Smoke down, Garrus picks. It's all up to nothing. Here goes nothing. Well, he's dead now. And trying to make something happen. Here's a shooting gallery for Sempus. Not able to land those shots. Eventually goes down to get right, and it's just Shroud left to creep around the map. One versus five. Needs to get out of here and save or go for exits. Ooh, catches get right off guard. I love that. Get right was hunting him down. And now a one versus four. Grabs the off. Gonna try and save it for Flaren. Is sneaking around the side, though, but Shroud picks him. All right. Player's still aggressing. Exists up. In the drop. Running away now. Bomb's definitely gonna go down. But ninjas and pajamas are in hot pursuit of Shroud, who really wants to save this off. There's a long way, but he trades at the final uh, confrontation. So that's three frags from Shout, uh, Shroud trying to save that off. Not bad. Not too shabby. Okay, and I believe my car alarm is going off. One sec. I'm back, and the intruders have been dispatched. Actually, I sat on my keys. But I'm back now. Sound is gone. What the smoke? Oh my. Look at that. Immaculate. Terrace gonna be pushing in here. Counter Terrace with a CZ hold off. Ooh. Pre nade going down. Look at this double stack up top here by Hiko and, and Gares. Not gonna be very useful since the Terrace are pushing over to bombsite B. All right, and here's Semphis, waiting for Freiburg to peek. And he's down low. 71% uh, percent on him. Terrace taking their time. This is gonna allow CTs to rotate. Although they're not rotating. Maybe making it seem like they've gone back to A side. Oh, it's working! CTs falling for this. Shroud and Semphis falling back. Oh, now they're coming back. Smokes are deployed. Freiburg creeping out there. Checking his corners. Nobody in those corners. Alerted to some CT presence here. Smoking off the, the, uh, the cross. Nice spray down. Bomb is down. Exist gonna be trying to grab that thing. Just Gares left. One versus four with the CZ. And gets caught off guard by Get Right, whose job it is to sneak up on people and destroy them. Ninjas in Pajamas at five points now against Cloud9's three on this T side. Sevis buying himself an op. Let's see if he can hold down these uh, angles. Ninjas in Pajamas are taking B quite heavily. The times that they've taken A have been a little bit of a struggle for them. The B takes definitely working out. Probably going to continue taking that B-side. Okay, so again, we have this no-armor buy from Gares and Semphis, who have, have sort of uh, pooled together their resources to get another buy, which, let's see if it works out. I always doubt Cloud9 for doing these kind of, sort of very risky buys, but they tend to work out for them. They somehow manage it. Okay. Terrace have given up on the B aggression, maybe thinking, hey, we've been going B nearly every time. Let's try to take some position here at A. Bomb is dropped, though. T 
Tees looking like they're looking for picks. They're not actually setting up to take any sites just yet. They have two players watching B. And then they have players over here at the A side. Bomb has not been picked up just yet. Okay, so there's a pick that they didn't want to happen. And maybe doing these buys is because ninjas and pajamas based on the economy get... Wow, Forrest, whiffed that one. Maybe because of this economy a game, they assumed that they were going to be saving. So they thought they were playing anti-eco. But Cloud9 in position to make some stuff happen. Terra's trying to push out here. Into the site. Here is Gidroid. Nice shot on Hiko. Now just Forrest left. And he does go down. Two players left here for Cloud9. Double op on Kabul. Alright, Cloud9 back in this thing. Semphis, apparently playing the map for the first time, throws out a, this map is so big. Nothing says, like Semphis. Oh dear. That was a little rude. Oh my. Alright. Now Cloud9 getting back into this thing economically. Both teams are very low. Whoever loses this thing is probably going to have to save. Ninjas and Pajamas being very aggressive here. Flaren charging forward and grabs the entry frag. Check this out. Semphis in the back of the site. That nade could kill. Oh, Semphis takes down two players. Flaren smoking it off. Now charging through the smoke. Semphis is dead. It is clear. They're going to try and plant that bomb. They've left get right behind to play Lurk. Three players to take care of. Three versus three for the retake. Shroud's going to show himself. And get right gets it. Two players left there. Tease waiting in the back of the site for these CTs to make some aggressive moves. Hiko seems to be hunting down Get Right. And Garrus holds it off, now puts it into a two versus two. Get Right still sneaking up behind. The Flaren is alone inside of the site. King of the Porta John. Takes him down. Where is Get Right? Bomb. And for Flaren holds it off. He is definitely the king of the potty there. But he will explode. And an epic dive to death. I would say death-defying dive, but it wasn't because he died. Cloud9 at four points, ninjas in pajamas at six. Oh, and a save round here from Cloud9. Go on, go on. CZ. All right. Ninjas in pajamas sending a few player mid here. Probably think they're doing eco, but... Yeah, they should be pretty sure of that. You need to keep, you know, sort of a, a, a mind on where your, your uh, opponents are. Wow! Garrus charging forward into B here. Semphis goes down as well. That's going to open it up into a, a B take. Cloud9 playing very aggressive on this eco round. We're punished for it. Poor nothing here with just a P2000. This thing, he's got to, like, tap him in the face a few times to make something happen. It's probably not. Cloud9 calling the rotate, all their players over to B. Fog. And they are going to be doing this this sort of full save. Nothing gets picked easily by Get Right. Two players left. Shroud9 waiting for a player to hop down. Ninjas in pajamas not taking any chances. Look at this. Normally at this point, they a, a team would just charge in. But they are playing it safe. Get Right actually playing entry frag here. And Fry with Freiburg as well, that's dangerous. Just he go left. Flaren moving around the side and boom goes the dynamite forest with a grenade. Takes out the final player. Ninjas in pajamas at seven points against Cloud Nine's four. Definitely going in favor of the ninjas in pajamas thus far. Another buy here from Cloud Nine. They're a little bit low on the money and uh, are able to, to get just enough armor and just enough guns. Unfortunately, we actually have a scout here on Shroud. When you have to do a double save, that's when you know you're in some serious trouble economy-wise. What is Gears doing? Oh my, charging forward and takes out Get Right, sends him flying. Tried to steal the AK, but just missed it. That was a little awkward. Oh, and he sprays down Forest in that fire. Lovely job. Here's nothing. Inside of the site. Terrence taking their time. Where is Faflaren? Faflaren sneaks through into the connector. That's lovely. Going to be able to sneak behind him here. Shroud's going to see him in a few seconds, though. Yeah, Shroud knows. Shroud should be able to easily kill this player. Exist, hopping down the drop. Oh, waiting for nothing. Oh, he misses the shot, though. Nothing flashing in. Exist, avoiding it. 
Down to five health, and that's going to be it. Nothing finally kills him. All right, Cloud9, finally able to take a point there. CT side, a good hold off, and look at all the AK-47s they have. Four AK-47s have been liberated. And they're able to get another round in. All right, we actually have three more rounds in this half. Three more points possible. Cloud9 wants to win all three, put themselves ahead. Oh, aggression. Gears creeping forward. Hiko goes down as a, as a result here. Cloud9 continuing with their aggressive CT side. Oh, Faflarin shows himself by jumping. Will go down. Gears trying to fall back after the pick. And he will. Two players from CT pick, though. That is not good. Just nothing here at bombsite B. Terrace rotating that bomb to take bombsite B. We see it here, rotating over to B side. Get right, waiting to drop down the suicide drop area. Semphis waiting for him, trying to get a show. Oh, you did try to wall bang there. I don't, I don't even know if you can. Apparently, you can, because Get Right is uh, continuing to try to do it. And ninjas in pajamas waiting to push. Forrest peeking it with the op. Nobody's there. There's the shot. Freiburg entering into the site. One player still up inside of the back of the site. Semphis up close. Ooh, nice shot by Semphis. Get right sneaking up from behind now. It's just nothing left to hide inside of the site. Bunch of players to take down. Two of them are very low. And prevents the bomb plant and kills Forrest very quickly. One versus one now. Get right versus nothing. Get right moving in. Saw him went to the port of John. Mm. Head visible. Knows he's on the right now. Nothing waiting for this player. Could come from either side. This is scary. And nothing takes it with a three frag. Lovely job. He just did a one versus three for the win there. Keeping Cloud9 into this game, giving them six points. And that is going to force Ninjas in Pajamas into a save. Very big for Cloud9. This is the decider match. An incredibly important match for both of these teams. It is looking bleak here for no one. Because they're so even. What a beautiful looking little garden here. As nasty evil terrorists run by. With a, with a bomb. Okay. They've split up across the map. Cloud9 assumed it was going to be a B charge. But it is not. T's actually going over to A side here. Hiko watching it. And they've rotated back three players. Gear should be able to hear the little noises that they make. Any missteps should be audible. Oh, they've rotated. Actually, they've rotated Hiko back over to B side just in case. They're creeping up middle right now. Oh, Semphis walks through. Terrace have the sight now. How did Cloud9 leave that opening? That is embarrassing. Semphis moves down. They're like, hey, what happened? Terrace are already into the sight. That was so sloppy. And look at this. Garrus has a player right on his right there. That's going to be Forrest. Let's see if he can catch him off guard. Does Garrus check the corner? Oh, that's a no. What? Such a mistake there. By Forest. Oh, but they all do go down really quickly. That was really silly, though. Um, what uh, Ninjas in Pajamas, or what Cloud9 let happen. Semphis crept around here like this to watch this position. While he was doing that, while he was walking around this area, we saw Ninjas in Pajamas come right up mid into A. They left an opening. You have to think of the map. Um like a series of streams, right? That come in here in different ways that the water can meander and connect. And that the counter terrace are like dams blocking off these streams and preventing the water from coming through and flooding the little villages. Cloud9 got flooded. But still able to shoot them, still able to win despite failing in the strategy department there. All right, it's all tied up, 7-7. Seven, seven. Ninjas in pajamas. Wants to put themselves ahead here. I don't know, both want to put themselves ahead. Very even game. Very tense. Both want to get the advantage. And there's Get Right making some noise. Cloud9 is falling for it. They've rotated their players back, and it looks like the terrorists are getting ready to push here. Bomb site A. Alright, they've rotated one player back. That's Semphis to watch it from this little balcony area. Yeah. 
Get right, continuing to make noise here. He's a trap. And the terrorists getting ready to push into bombsite A. They sort of missed their window of opportunity now. Because at this point, CTs can start to rotate back to A. Now, there's only two players to deal with here. At bombsite A. Force creeping forward now. One player going long as well. They're taking their time. Should smoke this off. Forrest runs through and turns his back to Semphis. That was a little bit awkward. In the meantime, Get Right is picking off players. Terrace have taken the site. Exist sneaking around the back and it's just a one versus two now with Exist. They know where he is. He's going to try to plant this bomb. He's got 12 seconds left. Gears and Shroud moving in. Going to send Shroud around the side. Gears up the middle. Here's Exist to hold this off. Going to be peeking it. Trying to pick the player. Oh, he knew. Exist knew. If he can pick one player and put it into a one versus one, he has a chance of winning it. However, he just missed that shot. Shroud with a nice shot. And that is going to be the half. Cloud9 ahead by one point. And they throw down the good halves, and it definitely was a good half. And we shall resume when the players are ready for the second half. Second half commencing. Pistol round. Get right, doing his classic doolies, Swedish doolies on the pistol round there. You can see them brightly yellow and blue on his side. Interesting position. Well, that is a really weird position. In the meantime, Terra's taking their time, wrapping completely around the side here to avoid being seen from middle or something. I don't know, they were completely visible, so that was a little bit strange. Going to be charging into bombsite A here. And there's nobody here waiting for them as they creep by. And CTs have rotated up here into the site. Nice pick by Forrest. Excellent job. He's being chased down there by uh, Terrace, though. That is Semphis. He is able to kill that player. Terrace moving into the site now. CT's trying to make something happen. Get right. Waiting for them to peek him. Eco playing Lurk picks two players, and it's just Get Right with the Swedish Duelies. He's going to try and kill Hiko first, then take out the rest later. Takes out Hiko like, remember when I said I'd kill you last? I lied. All right, can he do it? He's a cowboy. Let's see it happen. Oh, he's going to reload those things. He's definitely going for it. Come on, get right. Nope, get right's going to save. That's a first round save there. Maybe going for exits. At least try to take these players down with him. Maybe get some money out of the deal. Well, Terrace are able to sneak by. There's nothing. Good shot. Almost able to kill Semphis, who's down to six health. Gary was a little bit hesitant there. Didn't do anything to push in there. One versus three, not really a winnable situation. Second round. After a loss. Double scout across the sky. It almost looks like a triple scout. But it is not. So, CZ Scout, second round by. Remember this? And here is Forrest watching up middle. Get right from the back of B. Terrorists going to be pushing B. Very aggressively. Oh, get right, getting a forward position here. Trying to do some jump scouting. This thing is accurate when you're at the top of your elevation. Let's see if he can pull off some amazing shots. They have that bomb. They're waiting outside. Look how split up Cloud9 is across the map compared to when Ninjas in Pajamas was playing. Shroud playing from the window, even. That is crazy. Look at this. He can't rotate anywhere fast enough. He's like, in case Ninjas in Pajamas charges up middle? Strange. Okay, T's have rotated out of there. They're not going to be taking B. Moving over here to A. There's someone right around the corner, though. That's Fafleren with the USP. Only player without a real gun. Oh, but he still takes out Gares. And does some serious damage there to Semphis. CTs have already rotated into position. Here's Forrest in the back. Get right. Get smoked out. So here's Forrest to hold off the bomb site. Take. Semphis is low. He just needs to body shot him. Let's see if he can pull it off. Well, he misses the shot. Gares in there. Trying to hold off nothing as well. All top, forcing him back a little bit. Oh, that is sloppy. Exist in Freiburg. Freiburg lets nothing run by. Let Shroud run by. And kills the bomb planter. It's now Exist. 
One versus two with Hiko down to one health. And they do not have time to plant that bomb. Such an excellent job. Letting those players run by, looking at the timer and saying, I just have to prevent the bomb plant. Sneaky peeky, and that is why they are ninjas. A ninja is unknown until he strikes. Wow, check your corners. Letting those two players run by like that just won him the round. Alright, so apparently, I don't know if you can hear that in the microphone, but there's a huge major summer storm going on outside. Probably gonna get some flooding, but I'm gonna continue the cast and finish this. And here's Fafleren watching long. Tees look like they want to take middle here. Taking their time. Down the nice, grassy little slope. Beautiful little terrain as they push in here. Forest! Oh, gets taken down. Here's Fafleren, actually kills a player with the AWP and then falls back. Tees are going to be chasing him down. Like, let's pick this player, guys. It's Fafleren! It's getting away. It's a good place to assume a player would be, but Tees are still in hot pursuit here. And he takes down another one. Shroud didn't peek. Finally able to kill him. So now that puts it into a two versus two. Fafleren leads them on a merry chase. And Freiburg falls back to A to hold off the push. There's Hiko. Now he knows. Get right just shooting through that smoke with the P90. Oh, Shroud just picked Get Right. Or uh, picked uh, Freiburg, and it's all up to Get Right here. With the P90, looking right at Hiko. Come on, just press that left mouse button. And. Shroud in the sight. Hiko close. Get Right just walks out into the middle of the room. Wow. Shroud trying to op. Pre op these positions. Hiko gets into the sight. Knows he's got to take out Shroud. Two, jumping shot, grabs the op. One round left in the thing. And he misses it, and he goes down. Wow. Nice attempt at a clutch there, but it did not work out. And that's going to give Cloud9 a commanding lead by two points. Forcing Ninjas and Pajamas into a save, looking very good for Cloud9 in this game. They're ahead economically by quite a bit. Get right purchasing a Nova. Rank up some uh, money. Alright, T's have that bomb dropped. Moving over here to take bomb site A. Get right in the get right spot. Waiting for them to hop down in his face and be sent into space by a shotgun. No one gonna charge through there. Oh, what? You can't do jump Novas. That doesn't even work. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, that, that ain't gonna work, buddy. I think it was just to get intel there. See if the player was there. T's taking their time, they're right outside. Lots of time taking on this map. Gare's now creeping around over at A side. Flaren is back there, he needs to check that corner. Or for Flaren, we'll take him down. Let's see if he does. No! For Flaren lets him go, go by again, just in case he has a teammate. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what a failure! By Fafleren. That was embarrassing. Hey, Gitright gets a frag with the Nova. Senf is running for his life now as Gitright chases him down. He's like, oh my gosh. Oh no. It's too much. It's too much. Oh, and he gets hunted down and killed. Gitright at three frags now, hunting down his ace. Two versus two. Ninjas in pajamas turns an eco into a winnable situation. Shroud. Moving in on Freiburg. Six seconds left. Hands just gears. Can't win. GG. Ninjas in pajamas on a round. It looked like they shouldn't have been possible to win. Wins it. That was incredible. Cloud9 is making some critical mistakes. It just seems like they do not know the map. Which is entirely possible since it's cobblestone. Keep in mind, Ninjas in Pajamas was the team that sort of lobbied for the new maps to be included and was super okay with everything that Valve was doing. May have had more practice on this map. And uh, Cloud9 not even knowing the corners to check. Flaren hops out there and gets a pick off of nothing. 
Here's Hiko with the CZ. Oh. Looking like a fail of an eco here for Cloud9. They were doing so well. They're actually still ahead. This win here for my Ninjas in Pajamas will tie it up 10-10. But it finally looks like Ninjas in Pajamas has found their stride on the CT side. Cloud9 starting to make some critical mistakes. And this is it for them. Loser of this is gone. All right, here's Shroud. Finds himself an AK-47. I actually purchased this thing with no armor. Again, the wisdom of this, I do not know. And Fafleren holds off. Low bush. Wow, Cloud9. Now you gotta save. Yep, Cloud9 gonna have to full save after that weird buy. And it's all tied up, 10-10. And it's a CZ buy. Double op here. Buy Ninjas in Pajamas op is gonna be so powerful on this map because of those long distances. Now let's see where they place them. So we have Fafleren who's been very successfully picking players over here at long A. Forest! Just lagging a player, taking Zemphis down to 17. Terrace charging into the site. Two players in the back to watch it. Here's Freiburg. And Exist, Exist finally engaging. Freiburg has a different angle on it, down to two health here. Could get taken down at any second. Well, take someone down with him. Exist up in the site, 20. Two health left, just Shroud. One versus four, perfect shot! Absolutely perfect one tap P250 on Exist. That was impressive. However, 10 health left versus an army with his itty bitty little P250. And P90 spray down by Get Right. Three frags. And Get Right tends to use the P90 on this map. I know how frustrating it is to see the best player in the world using a P90. But there you have it, folks. Get Right's weird. Ninjas in Pajamas takes the lead now at 11 points to 10 against Cloud9. Cloud9 creeping forward to take Bombsite B. This is very fast. Look how fast they're charging out here. They get a little bit stopped up in the smoke. Wow, they could take this. It's just exist back here with the auto sniper. This could be a great round for Cloud9 after getting that pick. Well, they're taking their time to move in there. Exist still up in the back. Four versus four. Ooh, they need to smoke that off pronto. Shroud has a smoke. Let's see if he throws it. Come on, Shroud. Oh, that is not what you needed to do, buddy. Terrorists are going to have a hard time getting into the site because of that. Oh, actually, that does block it, but if he jumps down the... the exist will be able to spray, spray him as well as the off position. Hiko picks Forest, though. This will open it up. Get right trades himself. Now a two versus three hold off. Exist still up in the back of the site. It's pretty much all up to Exist now. Looking like Terrace, 37 seconds left. May take the time to go pick Fafleren first? No, they're still waiting. Still waiting. Time ticking down. Need to make a decision. Nice. Nice. Just Shroud left, and he's hunting down Fafleren. He has the bomb. If he kills him, he can go plant at bomb site A. He needs to move now. And he takes down Fafleren. Knife is out. You run faster with a knife. Shroud moving into the site. We'll be planting this bomb. In the meantime, exist in hot pursuit. All right, one versus one now. It's all all been reset. Shroud versus exist. Pretty even matchup here. Both know where each other is. And Shroud trying to peek around the corner, moving back. Oh, exist takes him down to four health. Shroud needs to hold this off. One versus one, not a lot of time left. Just playing the bomb, this is so smart by Shroud. Forcing Exist to try to push, not enough time left. Exist will get the frag, but the bomb will go down and that's a win for Cloud9, tying it up 11-11. Cloud9 back in this game. Incredibly even match going on here. A good attack. And apparently nothing is pointed out. This is Shroud's first time playing the map ever of all time. May just be trolling, though. Ninjas in pajamas continuing with the three scoped weapons. Auto sniper exists. Off the flaring, going for picks. And forest. With a P90 get right. And an M4ing Freiburg. 
Paris looking like they were gonna try and take bombsite B. Get right, still watching the suicide drop with the P90. This is a crazy position. Terrace taking their time, watching their corners, not making a move just yet. Making sure. See if they finally decide to jump down there. And they are gonna check it. Get right, right down there. Flashing them. And they're peeking it. They don't know he's right below. A bunch of terrorists are there. He's going to be able to avoid flashes very easily. They need to throw a Molotov down there, but they don't have a Molotov. Oh! They know now. Trying to flash him. Charging forward, and they do pick him. Will be pushing into the site. Here's Exist in the back with the Auto Sniper. T's moving out. Freiburg with a good position on it as well. They just smoked out Exist. He's got to rotate positions. T's taking their time. Nice pick by Freiburg. That was excellent. And Faflarin from the connector gets a frag. Cloud9 has, has been having a lot of trouble with this situation. Well, it's just Semphis left. One versus five. Now, if we look at the overview, the situation they've been finding themselves in is taking B site. They take all of this position here, then, but they can't get into the site. They just can't close it. What we have is a setup by Ninjas and Pajamas where we have an op vantage point here. We have a auto sniper vantage point here, you see where those cross. We have a player who's able to watch um, these as well. And it's just so difficult for them to figure out how to get into the site. Good thing would be smoking off right here, smoking off right here and here, and then just moving into the site. They only have one player really to deal with. Exist will actually have to rotate over here. But it doesn't seem like they know how to throw those. Okay, it's an eco rush here by Cloud9. They are able to get a frag. This is looking good. And here's Get Right with the P90. Ninja Pajamas finally ahead now at 12 points. Terrace getting ready to push into the site. Three versus four. He go with a pick. Evens it up. Wow. Good spray control with the P90. Never thought I would say that. And it's just Semphis left. And Get Right makes quick work of him. Three frags from Get Right with that P90. Doing an excellent job. Okay, Ninjas in Pajamas well ahead now. Cloud9 buying up. Have to make something happen here. They've been falling into this trap over at Bombsite B repeatedly. Let's see if they switch it up. I believe these successful rounds were at Bombsite A. Alright, continuing with the aggression here at Bombsite B. Three players with the bomb. Oh, Shroud picks Faflaren. That's huge. Get right dealing with the drop. Oh my gosh, and that's why we call it the suicide drop as Get Right cleans up the place. Here's Gares hunting down Forest. Two versus four now. It looks bleak, but Gares is able to get the frag. Shroud creeping around over at B side. Gares exist. Now just Gares. One versus three. He's already sitting on one frag. You will all die. You will all die, he says. Bomb is down in the connector. CTs have a little fortress around it. That bomb is most definitely not going into Gare's hands, and it looks like he's going to be saving here. One minute left as he creeps around the map. So again, Ninjas in Pajamas doing a good job with Faflaren. Creeping through here and then picking this position, as well as outside. Can even have a player looking up middle. Can creep a player up here. That's actually what uh, Cloud9 was doing. And then if Cloud9 tries to take B, again, getting into that crazy position there. So what can Cloud9 do? They really got to figure out how to do these smokes. They, they, they seem to not be able to deal with Get Right at the suicide drop spot. If we go and look at that spot a little bit here, um, we'll see that every time they drop down, they're getting absolutely destroyed there. One of the things you can do is throw a Molotov down at the bottom of this. That forces the player out if he's playing there. And you have players watching here. As soon as he pushes back out of that Molotov, you can pick him really easily. Um, the other thing is that it's so difficult to drop down here because you have a position there. You have the position there. A lot of times it's best to just avoid this spot because you're not going to be able to hit those, those positions. Of course, you can peek this from up here. Have one player watch this as one drops down and it looks up there. They haven't been able to figure it out, and Get Right's been able to hold that down very successfully. Roger that. Let's go, people. 
Oh, Cloud9 is not playing the long game. They are definitely not going to be going for an overtime here. As they buy up armor pistol double scout here. As Ninjas in Pajamas sits at 14 points. Or they could move Semphis around the side really quickly and pick him if he comes in through the door. So smart. Love it. They actually figured out a good way to take care of him. But Semphis does get taken down. Double scout playing here. Here's Garrus who has grabbed himself an AWP. One player still in the back of the site. That's Exist. Trying to hunt him down. Shroud up close. And... There's Exist. Garrus takes him down. Shroud moving around the site. Forest charging forward. They have that bomb. Oh, nothing's dead. Now a two versus two. Critical round here for Cloud9. It's all reset. They have guns. Not just pistols, and they have the sight. Joe just missing that. Shroud holding down the angles up top, but it's going to be Garrus who engages. Have a player creeping up. Oh, and Shroud with the double auto sniper kill on Fafleren and Forrest, who lines up perfectly for him. Line him up. And Cloud9 stays in the game. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas is still going to be able to buy here, though. If they lose this round, though, then they're going to have to save one. And that'll put it at 14-14, so this is huge. Cloud9 really needs this round. All right, here's Get Right back at his spot. T's have fallen back a little bit to go over at A-side. We have Fafleren watching it from up here, not using an AWP. Keep in mind, Ninjas in Pajamas was just hurt economically, quite extensively, to the effect that they do not have the ops and auto snipers that they had before, and that was really how they were holding down these positions, because they got so far ahead. That's been shattered now. Cloud9 with a huge chance to actually win and knock out the Ninjas in Pajamas. Semphis gonna peek it, checking his corners, he knows, and Garrus takes him down with the off. As Forrest slips out just a little bit too far. That's one pick as they move into bombsite A. Semphis entry fragging. We got Fafleren back there with an AWP. Get right in the connector. T's rotating their players around. They think there's someone still at long A. We see Shroud being very careful at long A. As he creeps forward. They do have a player inside of the site. Well, Semphis checking the spots. Nothing. Checks the site. Kills Fafleren and plants that bomb. Now three players left. On the CT side, they probably want to save at this point. Get right down low. 54 health. Yeah, and it looks like Ninjas in Pajamas are going to save the fight another day here. If we check out their economy, um, Exist does have enough money to drop a teammate. So they should be able to get another buy round out of this. Just because they were able to save these three players. Now... Cloud9 probably should have thought about hunting down Ninjas in Pajamas. They have five players versus three. And I say that because if they hurt the economy of Ninjas in Pajamas enough, the next round would be an eco from Ninjas in Pajamas. It would have given a great chance to uh, put this thing up at 14-14, which is exactly what they want to happen here. But now, because they took the safe route, which Cloud9 is not known for, Ninjas in Pajamas stays in this thing and will be able to buy on this round. And there's the drop for the teammate. Juggling weapons around between them until they get their formation, and guess what? All of them have armor, all of them have guns. Looking like T's want to push B? No. Working on mid-control. I know that Fafleren's been picking them quite a bit, so instead of just engaging head-on, apply directly to the forehead, they move in through B and go around uh, the side, which is probably a lot smarter way to, to handle it. Flaren's still watching this corner. He's been doing a great job on this all game. Cloud9 taking their time. One minute, ten seconds. Terrace at middle just now. Creeping forward. Eco playing the lurk. By himself. Flaren walking back. Here's the player. And takes out Semphis. Close range opping. Garrus is up. Op versus op. Flaren sneaks by just barely. He's met up with his buddy Forrest. CT's in a good position to hold off a bombsite A take. And it looks like that is exactly what Cloud9 is going to try to do. Fafleren misses a critical shot. That could have been huge. He's already picked one player. Nothing moves into the connector. 
Waiting for these players. Oh, look at this! Well, he catches Faflaren off guard. That's going to open up a bombsite tank. Here's Shroud and Hiko. Two versus four. Nice shot. Taking out Freiburg. Hiko takes out Forrest. Now at two versus two. Picks up the bomb. Going for the plant. He goes down. Hiko needs to clutch this. 36 health left. Can't put this into a 15. Nine seconds. Doesn't have time. Will go down. Ninja's in pajamas now at 15 points against Cloud9's 13. It is match point. This is a close game. Now the pressure is on. This is the moment that defines a team. Go, go, go. Move it, move it. Let's see what Cloud9 is going to be able to do. What's up, buddy? Alright, still working on their buys. Smoke. Smoke. Pushing through here. Into bombsite B. Pretty quickly. Tempest peeking over here. Smokes are down. Gotta wait for those to clear. Well, nothing watches the other side. Looks like they're gonna commit to this bombsite B take. So here's Gid right in his spot. This is the player they've been having trouble dealing with. Exist has been staying alive in the back. We check out the economy from Ninjas in Pajamas. They do not have enough for the auto sniper. So it's gonna be a more difficult hold off than they're used to. Shroud about to drop down. Get right aware of it. Okay, they pre-nade the spot where he's been standing. Nobody there. And are they dropping down? Here's Shroud, who's been playing really well in this series. Just about to drop down. Terrace getting ready to push. Exist over at the back of that balcony area. Oh! Get right throws his own Molotov. That's going to prevent them from pushing. Instead, they're going to push out here in this balcony. Exist, avoids the flash. Oh, he's got a mow down. Takes down one. Forced to pull out the pistol. He is so dead right now. And he will go down. Nico holding down the rotate. Terrace have the sight. Two players left. Moving in. Nice shot. Takes out. Get right just for us left. One versus three. And Hiko kills him. Double frag at the end there from Hiko, winning the round, putting it 14 to 15 here with one round left. And check this out. Look at the ninjas in pajamas. They do not have money to buy, and it looks like we're going to have an overtime here. Incredible. Now, Cloud9 is known for rushing on these anti ecos but this is an important round. I wouldn't expect to see them to do it here. Forest buying up. They're going to be able to buy a bunch of armor, so it's an armor pistol round from them. And Cloud9 rotating over to the middle. He go by himself here. Forrest waiting inside of the site. He go play and lurk. Looking like they will commit to this A site to take. They've called it already. Grenade Two players out. watching this. Here's Faflaren. Doesn't have his op. He's just got a pistol. Taking their time. Being safe. Checking their corners, making sure they don't get caught off guard by these pistolers. Nothing. OCD meticulously checking everything here. Like fire. Do not want to make the mistake of uh, losing their chance to win this game. Smoke is off. The smoke's off the spot. We got Forrest with a Mag-7 hiding in the back here. Terrace moving into bombsite A. Eco now moving into B. And it all comes down to this moment. I'm gonna check it. Forrest gets the frag. Freiburg kills Hiko. Forrest is still up for Flaren. Has a good position on these players, preventing them from pushing in and taking Forrest out. Holding them off. They try to plant that bomb. Get right moves in with the AK-47 he stole. Just Semphis left. One versus four. Match point. It's all turned around, and that's going to be it. Ninjas in Pajamas wins. GG. What an incredible series between these two teams. Lovely. Ninjas in Pajamas advances, and I that was incredibly exciting. Thank you, folks, very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.